What's up YouTube? Welcome to the sixth prediction check. Sorry about the presentation, I didn't update it. Um, Kimi retires. Uh, he is expected to remain in Ferrari for next year. We don't know yet. Four teams win races, so far three have, the same three as ever. Honda, good races, bad races. We all have the points since China. Uh, 15 cars get engine penalties, so far seven have. Brendan Hartley had engine penalties for France, but it doesn't count as an, as an additional point because he already had engine penalties for Spain. You may remember that, um, that qualifying crash, but it does give us a point that we're gonna check later. Uh, McLaren did not ruin the orange livery and Red Bull no unique livery. Uh, big crash causes hello controversy, Makino, um, IndyCar have not uh, adopted the shield, super hard used only once, hard is used once in Britain, and we'll have to wait. Liberty Media over composite of Great Girls, yes they have, the MGOH will be eliminated in 2021, Botas is so far 4th, P4 in um, the Drivers Championship, the um, crash with Vettel in lap 1 of France did not do him any favor. That caused him to get behind um, Daniel Ricciardo on the Drivers' Championship. So, yeah. Mercedes win Mexico. That's going to be until Thanksgiving. Red Bull sign Alonso. They probably won't. But they have signed Honda. Here's uh, the um, clip from Formula World about that. Red Bull Honda confirm. It's official. Red Bull Racing have now opted to go with Honda as their engine supplier on a multi-year contract beginning from the 2019 season. To which Renault boss called up that had this to say. We will do everything we can to make them regret this decision. What I mean by that is simply doing the best we can on track with our own team under our own colours. I am really extremely excited by the performance improvement to come. Uh, no aerodynamic rules on ground effect, they mostly uh, involve taking, so yeah. Al Alonso, Fernando Alonso won Le Mans, so that's a point for us. Liberty Media this and did spice up the pre-race show, so yes. Silverstone uh, haven't saved or condemned the British Grand Prix from 2019 onwards, so yeah. One year race winner, it hasn't happened and it's unlikely it will happen. Vettel scores twice the Kimi's points. Vettel having that um, first lap crash with Valtteri Bottas in, the f in France di isn't doing Sebastian any favor. The, r the rate is down to 1.57. Uh, someone gets a penalty point ban, that hasn't happened. Red Bull probably will not finish second. Um, William will probably finish 7th or worse, in fact they continue being the laughing suck of the paddock. Where the event causes a red flag, you may remember that manhole cover in Monaco. That gives a 7.5 out of 25 in the chamber board. No one has come out of the closet, Alonso hasn't made a resting pick reference. Shirtless pictures, yeah we have 85% of the point for that. Russia joke, force India in Canada. Mexico is uh, again gonna happen until Thanksgiving. Kimi angry on team radio. Of course that happened. You may remember in Azerbaijan He blamed Ocon for something. Well, that was Kimi's fault Crashes in Monaco and Singapore. Monaco did have a crash, uh, but Singapore hasn't happened so half point so far No DNFs. So we have half the point because China uh, No one has been disqualified even though I mean Roman Grosjean should have been disqualified, but the stewards are wankers. Hamilt Hamilton, Princess Dressgate, Karma, of course. He was nowhere at the beginning of the season, and again, um, problem with the, with engines in Canada. Well, not really problems, but fail, except he failed to bring the, um, the update, so that hurt him in Canada, even though he recovered, but that's a point. Uh, Fernando uh, Felipe Massa did give an interview in Spanish uh, during the Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, Ten races have her uh, first lap drama. With the French Grand Prix having that first lap crash, we have five races with first lap drama. That's worth a half point. 
and importantly here that engine penalty I was talking about uh, uh, at the beginning of the video cost Brendan Hartley to get sent back of the grid for the second time so that's a point Verstappen have n has not been driving of the day and um, driving of the day no bigger than one third that means no bigger than seven and Sebastian Vettel was um, driving of the day in France giving, a, giving us um, Vettel as the second driver to be driver of the day twice and if you're looking at here the Azerbaijan appears twice because I'm also counting Perez for driver of the day even though officially Leclerc won it because the award was originally given to Checo but he was later eliminated when he got under investigation for something he ended up being um, innocent about so, on my eyes, and because it's unlikely he'll get it again, he gets to keep it for the purposes of my prediction board. Organ on the podium hasn't happened, and given the terrible, terrible, terrible luck he has had in this season so far, it's unlikely. Um, but, again, I'm counting the half point, because Perez was on the podium in Azerbaijan. Mexico Trophy would be, um, well, in Thanksgiving, no injury or death, you may remember Francesco Sigorini. Andres Manuel is actually projected to win the presidential seat in Mexico, so that's bad news. Verstappen, of course, has done stupid things. We have gotten used to the halo, especially with Makino. Um, ten races having pit stop problems. Um, because I am no longer watching the races whole, I am taking, uh, starting with the French Grand Prix, counting as pit stop problems anything that can be attributed even vaguely to pit stops. And in this case, in free practice one, Sergio Perez had the following problem. A dramatic wheel failure sent Sergio Perez into a spin in second practice for the French Grand Prix. The Mexican driver doing well to keep control of his Force India as his left rear wheel made a bid for freedom. Yeah, that might have been because of a because of a problem in the pits. So we're taking that point. Uh, Force India ha hasn't smashed into each other, fortunately. And here's where we get to a little. Point my, you may remember that in a previous video I talked about how I was getting some foreign money in the home in the hopes that the Mexican peso would devaluate so I can win some money. And even though the amount of money I'm gonna I'll be winning is small, I already turned an initial investment of 248 pesos into 266, so that's a win. Of course, that win was partly because uh, the guy who originally sold me those dollars gave me one more dollar. But still, the um, I sold those dollars at a higher rate, uh, from 18.6 to 19. Ex money exchange is a little difficult to explain on my explain in a different video, so yeah. 19th of September will be, well long long uh, we a uh, few months left and we have 11.35 out of 25 so that gives us a total of 18.85 out of 50 measured on the 24th of june 2018 thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time